Good day ladies and gents, today BSG reset everyone's settings in Tarkov and I'm gonna go through them, I'm gonna tell you what are the best settings for this wipe and there is three settings you need to change to have the best performance and the best gameplay this wipe. So first of all, texture settings, I would say it's personal preference and depends on your GPU. You should look at your GPU VRAM usage and adjust your settings uh, to, to make sure that your VRAM never goes to its limit. So if you have 8 gigabytes of VRAM, I personally believe that you should never go up to the 8 gigs. You should have like 6, maybe 7, and you should play on medium settings. And if you have something like a 4070, 4080 um, RTX, you can play on high settings. Uh, and you need to restart the game for that. So... For me personally, I'm going to choose high settings, I'm going to choose uh, low quality for shadows since it doesn't really change much in the game and high quality and ultra uh, ultra shadows quality might actually lower your frames, so put this on low. So we're going to save those settings, I'm going to go to streets and explain the rest of the settings in the raid. Alright, now we are on beautiful map of streets of Tarkov and as you can see my, my graphics are very weird, the game looks very grainy. So the first thing we do, we go to settings and we disable chrome chromatic abbreviations and the noise this is what makes the game look very noisy and ugly and it doesn't give you any additional frames so disable this save boom the game looks clean good start then we go back to the graphics so object LED quality changes the distance at which objects render in better quality I think I keep it on 2 or 2.5 and overall visibility determines at what distance some of the smaller objects stop rendering. So if you select 400, some of the objects will stop rendering. You know what, let me quickly disable the sound so we don't hear the rain that loud. Um, so yeah, overall visibility determines the distance at which some of the objects stop rendering. So if you select 3000, some of them will stop rendering at 3000 meters. And if you select 400, some of them will stop rendering at 400. I would say choosing the lower is good for lighthouse and streets because there is a high amount of objects and it does lower your frames. Uh, but for other maps, you can go for 1000 or 1500. Anti aliasing, that's personal preference. If you like your game sharp, turn it off. The game is going to look very crispy, very sharp. If you like your edges, like for example, the door frame, the weapon, all the edges to look smoother, you should enable anti-aliasing. I personally enjoy TAA, but you can select whatever you want, whatever suits your needs. Then we have resampling. Resampling basically changes the resolution of your game without actually changing your resolution. It upscales or downscales it, I believe. Uh, you should always play on 1x, because technically saying this doesn't really change a lot and you should just stick to your native resolution of your monitor so keep it on 1x nvidia dlss upscales the image from lower resolution to your resolution aka reduces the work of your gpu and if you have a weak gpu but you want to play on higher resolution this will make your frames a little bit better uh, for me i don't think it's going to make much of a difference let's give it a quick, a quick test right now we're getting 65 fps enable nvidia dlss Still 65 frames, so it doesn't really make too much difference for me, since I have a good GPU and I am getting bottlenecked by my uh, CPU. Alright, uh, same, same applies to AMD FSR, it works the same as NVIDIA DLSS, using AI technology it upscales your game to a better resolution, however you can use this on both NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. HBAO makes your shadows of a higher quality, I don't really see much of a difference and it does reduce your performance a little bit, so I prefer it on off. SSR is uh, screen space reflections, I believe, uh, and you can have it on low or off. Basically what it does, it provides you with uh, better reflections of glass and water. I don't know if we can see any right here right now. Let's see if we can find any... Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. From here, we can see the building, we can see the sky. If we disable it... SSR, off, boom, there is nothing. It's like the little pawn doesn't even exist. So this is what SSR does, it definitely gives the game better vibes. However, it does reduce your frames a little bit. So I guess we can enable it on low and sacrifice a little bit of frame rate. Then we have anisotropic filtering, I have it on off. This basically provides uh, better better quality of textures the further they move away 
from, from, from your position. I prefer it on off. Here comes the most important setting. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Previous wipe, when you were enabling it on on or on plus boost, it would uncap your frames and give you better input lag, so less input lag. Right now, if you enable Reflex, um, uh, Reflex NVIDIA on and you change maps, let's say you play customs and then you go to reserve, this will literally half your frames. Literally half. Once I was in the raid, uh, I was getting bad frames, I was thinking about restarting, and my chat told me to disable NVIDIA low uh, latency. I disabled it, and I doubled my frames instantly. This thing instantly off without any hesitation. Sharpness. Sharpness is personal preference, uh, up to you. Lobby FPS limit, game FPS limit, you can just max it out. Uh, and here comes the MIP streaming. Surprisingly, nobody mentioned it, but MIP streaming got fixed this wipe. If you use MIP streaming right now, that will reduce your GPU VRAM usage. So if you have a lower tier of GPU, but you want to play on um, maps like Lighthouse, Tarkov, and you don't want to overload your VRAM, you should enable MIP streaming. The problem with it last time was that whenever you would load out of the raid, you would get black screen for like 20-25 seconds. I think it has been fixed. I haven't fully tested it yet, so if you play with MIP streaming, maybe you can let me know down in the comments below if it's fixed. I believe it's fixed. So, MIP streaming tick on if you want to reduce your VRAM usage. And the other setting, which is really important and worth mentioning, is VSync. You should uh, disable VSync because it might affect your frames. That's what I've been told by BSG. So, those two settings, um, VSync and NVIDIA low latency, must be off for now until there are any hotfixes. And another thing worth worth mentioning, I think I need to get some damage to show you that. All right, so I got a little bit of damage and right now there is a new option in settings uh, where you can select which body part you can heal. I've binded Saluwa on four, so I hold four and then I scroll my mouse wheel to select which leg I wanna heal. If you want, if, you, if your chest or head is not full, you can also heal them as well. That applies to all body parts. The only thing is this doesn't happen uh, by stock. You need to change some settings. You need to go in the settings, you need to go into your um, keybinds, controls, and whichever button you use for your um, Saluwa or car or whatever you use, you need to change it on the press type on release. All of those buttons are originally on press and you cannot utilize this new uh, feature if you have it on press. So you click on this, you click on release and you click save. Then you can actually select which part to heal. Other than that, there is nothing you can do. You need to change your settings. And as this feature is very handy, I recommend you to do it and try it out. I think that's a great feature. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me those questions on Twitch where I stream daily. Also, give this video a thumbs up and uh, write a comment down below for YouTube algorithm. This will help a lot. And once again, thank you so much for watching it. Uh, I hope you have uh, better frames in Tarkov now and I will see you in the next video. Take care.